All right, what's going on YouTube? We're gonna do a sideways video today. So I just finished up uh, repairing this. Um, this is actually following the video I did about an hour ago, uh, showing do 3D printed parts last. Let me just show you the assembled part. I, uh, I don't have a part cooler on here yet. I actually need to reprint another one of those. I'm gonna do a slight design change. But this is the current extruder setup, Titan Arrow, big fan. Uh, we're gonna clean all this up, but uh, yeah, I got the, Got everything mounted back up, moves real nice, nice and firm, nice and steady. But I wanted to show, and this is what this video is about, is do steppers last? So I just had this printer here, so this is a Folger Tech FT5, uh, R2 I believe. Folger Tech is an okay company, uh, they've had a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, customer service issues is what I would say. Now this guy, from the best I know, and I'm no expert here, um, you know, contact Folger Tech for a deeper thing, but, but from the very little that I've seen on their Facebook page and, and whatnot about this printer is that this guy is like a one or two man show. You know, maybe he's got up to five employees, but it didn't seem like it was a big company. It seemed like he was handling all the customer support, all the packaging, all the shipping, all the acquiring of the parts. And uh, it seemed like what, what had happened is, is a handful of people weren't able to get this printer fast enough. So they got pretty upset, and, and I can understand that because I do order some things from China. I order some printers from China and and uh, stuff like that. They do have decent printers, cheap, you know, Creality, all that stuff. Um, so I'm pretty sure that he just got delayed on getting some parts from China, and, and you know, just telling everybody that doesn't, you, you know, people don't want to hear. Oh, I'm waiting on parts from China, you know, you, you know, so. That was part of it, and then other people just had a really hard time putting this thing together. So I actually bought this printer put together, and I'm not afraid to put one together or, or anything like that. I bought one and put it together myself, but this one I got already with a couple upgrades on it. I went ahead and did a very similar to what you're seeing on that one, um, Titan Extruder. So you can see this rail is actually smaller, um, but it's using the same exact direct drive as uh, that one. I just put a larger rail up top. Um, but yeah, so... The question here is, is do steppers last? And yes, they last a very long time. As you can see, I've had most of these printers for months to years, and I've only had a stepper fail maybe twice. But uh, on that printer, about two weeks ago, I had a motor fail. And out of three years of 3D printing and, you know, 20 plus, 30 plus 3D printers cycling through here, I think I've only had two, maybe three NEMA motors break. And actually, I think, that's the second time a motor's broken on that one. Um, now I use that one extensively uh, as much as I can. And it's one of my big ones, so when it is printing, it's generally printing for 12 to 48 hours at a time. Um, but yeah, that's the second time I've had a motor fail on that one alone. I think, I think actually this one had an extruder, an extruder motor fail. But anyways, as I was printing uh, yesterday, it got this far. Literally just finished the raft, or not the raft, the uh, skirt. And, uh, you know, I saw the nozzle about this high off the, off the pan there, not moving, and, and my extruder was not driving. So, uh, you know, I reset the printer a couple times, didn't do anything, uh, checked my wiring, made sure that the wires were good there, because the, the cable's only moving from right here. You know, I might have had a weak point here, might have had a weak point somewhere in this bend, because what actually happens, too, with these cable chains is the friction from right here uh, you can see, you know, maybe on that wire, I've actually replaced a couple of these wires. I've had these wires fail too, so this is something you'll have to watch out for. Whether it's an open wire system like this, or a nice cable chain system like this, it is possible to have your wires get chafed and break. I've had the hot end wire break, I've had the, the temp sensor break, and I've had the extruder wires uh, break in this cable chain. So over two and a half years of using this, I've repaired the wires probably three, four times, replaced one or two motors, and uh, today we replaced the stepper driver. So I had this little large stepper driver. I had upgraded the main board here. This has got an MK 1.4 in it now, and I put a bunch of those, these large 2208 steppers in it, and uh, I don't think, I got a 2208 stepper laying around somewhere, but I went ahead and put, I think this was a, a 2209 so this is a newer stepper now that I just put in place of the extruder and she's working again so we'll look I got her warmed up gotta prepare 
move access, little one, extruder, just move it a little bit, and boom, she's moving again. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna now measure from right here, 100 millimeters up, so I'll just kinda, kinda take this, go 100 millimeters up, I'm gonna put the wire back in it, and measure it, so I'm gonna then tell this to extrude 100 millimeters, and I'm gonna see, you know, I'll put a little Sharpie mark up here, if that goes down and you know if I so if I mark right here hundred millimeters and I tell it to go hundred millimeters that means that mark should end right here and if it doesn't end right there what we do and this is this is uh, how you can tune many other printers you go in here to motion and you go down to steps so steps is the actual so what you got is you got that that stepper driver then you have a NEMA motor and they have two different settings. So a stepper driver will push so many steps at a certain voltage, and then your your NEMA motor will turn, you know, so many steps per that voltage and step. So we end up changing things here. It changes how these uh, go, and that's how you tune them. Um, I know that's not the best explanation or, or uh, technical, but um, that's the easiest way to tune it. Measure 100 millimeters, tell it to go 100 millimeters. If it's short, you just add more steps. So you push it further. So it'll go, if you, if you, you know, see that mark going down here or much further, you, uh, you take the steps out. And then you, when you do that, you just come here to control and then you want to store memory. So this way, when you turn your printer off, it saves those steps. Um, not all printers allow you to do this, but a good majority of them do. So if you're looking to upgrade your printer and you're wanting to buy some new stepper motors to make it a little quieter, make it run a little smoother, that's a great thing to do. And uh, it's really easy to do. All you gotta do, you wanna turn your printer off. I actually didn't this time, so you can do it turned on. I don't recommend it. But uh, you just yank your, yank your stepper motor out, put a new one in, and uh, you're good to go. I'm just gonna kinda reposition those. So everything's a little loose back here. But uh, you can see I also chopped out the vents right here and I cut a big hole in my power supply and I put uh, Noctua's back here. So this fan is like I think 20, 25 bucks and these fans are like 20 bucks too. But uh, that gives you a really nice quiet uh, setup so that it's not making you know fan noises like we hear on some of these other ones. Uh, but yeah guys, this is 3 pin everything. Just wanted to Kind of give that update that yeah stepper motors wear out and uh feel free to roast this setup <laughs> i'm pretty just looking at this i'm like man if i was looking at someone else's printer i'd talk shit about this but uh she works so thanks for the support guys and talk to you on the next video